Team coverage rolls on with Jenny Young. Uh, she spent the day with people from a nonprofit getting the vulnerable ready for another night in the cold. Good evening, Dan. We know the Multnomah County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed this week that one person died on Christmas Day due to hypothermia from exposure to the extreme cold. We found out that person wasn't homeless, but this group that we were able to go around with, they are working to make sure those folks, those homeless folks who are most at risk during this weather, stay safe. A warming center? Yeah, it's a warming center. You don't have to stay. You can go there and warm up, and I'm sure they have hot beverages. And uh, Okay. This is Patrick. He lives on the streets. He tells us last winter, doctors surgically removed his toes due to frostbite. Today, Michael Lee Ryan with Transition Projects made sure Patrick had a bus ticket to get to a warming center. Okay. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Happy holidays, everybody. You too, sir. Yep. Michael Lee and two of his colleagues at Transition Projects, Brian Cooper and Megan Cooley, teamed up this afternoon and will work late tonight. We have hats, gloves, tents, tarps. Inside here is sleeping bags. They're passing out those supplies to the people most vulnerable to freezing temperatures. I did see a couple people in the doorway over there, right next to the methadone clinic. We could walk up there. I think it was a couple underneath the tarp. We went along as they walked around Old Town. So outreach, we have some supplies. Tent, sleeping bag, tarp. Oh, yeah. Okay, do you like a tent? Yeah. Sleeping bag? Yeah. Some hat, gloves, and all that hand warmer. We got some lunches. They tell us one of the most important things about this outreach is getting the word out about warming centers. Here's a beanie for you. Do you know about the convention center and the warming center? Anything that will keep them safe and then we let them know they can call. There are resources to get to a warming center. So they just wrapped up their shift. They were going to be out until about 10 o'clock driving around and checking on people who were still out in the cold. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. And thank goodness for all their efforts and people like them. Jenny, thank you.